So this video lesson is all about how to graph an inequality on a number line. Now we're not talking about complex inequalities, this is basic inequalities with the idea similar to things like x is less than 7. Inequalities where one variable um, is less than, greater than, less than or equal to, or greater than or equal to one specific number. Um, and so coming from the last video lesson on the introduction and basic solving ideas behind inequalities, uh, we have to start assuming that we can give examples of numbers that are uh, less than 7, in that case that satisfy the inequality, and numbers that are not less than 7, which we can say don't satisfy the inequality. That is, don't make the inequality true. So go ahead and pause the video for a second and see if you can come up with a few numbers that, let's say 3, that fit each category, just as a brief review of numbers that are less than 7 and numbers that do not fit the bill as being less than 7. Now, certainly this is not an exhaustive list that I'm about to give you. There are infinite number of examples that, could, that you can use. Uh, some whole numbers you could use that do satisfy it that are less than 7 are 3, 2, 0. Any of the negative numbers are also uh, less than 7. Any fraction or decimal, 6.5. Uh, negative 3 and 3 fourths, all are also less than 7. Now, to not satisfy this inequality, and that is to be greater than 7, um, the number 7 itself actually does not satisfy this inequality. Because 7 is not less than 7, 7 is equal to 7. So 7 in this case does not work. Uh, other numbers are any whole numbers that are positive. Uh, they do have to be positive because any negative number is going to be less than any positive number, so it'll be less than 7. And of course, any fractions or decimals that fit in with any of the numbers mentioned and any whole number that is generally less than 7. So, now, knowing that these are the numbers that do satisfy and don't satisfy the idea that x is less than 7, I'm going to move this down here, let's take a look at these numbers on a number line draw our number line, we will say that this number line here goes from uh, starts at, let's say it has 0 here, and it has 7. So now some of the numbers that we mentioned that are less than 7, and we're just going to do an approximate job at um, graphing this, we know that 0 is less than 7. We know that 2, which is about here, we know that 3, 6.5, negative 3, negative 4, negative 3 and 3 fourths. All of these numbers in purple all make this inequality true. That is, they are part of the solution to the inequality. Now, all these numbers on the right, things like 7 itself, which I'm not going to draw on there, but you'll see in a second, 8, 9, 10, 1,003, which is way over there, and pretty much any number over here, is not going to satisfy x is less than 7, because on a number line, anything to the right of 7 is greater than 7. So as we can see, the number 7 splits the number line into two different halves. The half on the right, where they are greater than 7, so this makes this not true, because they are actually greater than 7. And we have the half on the left, which is less than 7. So this does make the inequality true. So on a number line, we can represent those numbers that are less than 7, because they are to the left of 7 on the number line. And we can represent those numbers that are greater than 7, because they will be to the right of 7 on a number line. And so using that, this is what we're going to do to determine a way to graph what is less than 7 and what is not. So we're going to create a new number line here. And we're going to start at 7. 7 is the most important number in this inequality because it is the one that it is, is the um, number that we're comparing x to. Now, we're going to start with 7, and we're going to find a way of representing. Let's, we're going to circle 7. We're going to circle 7 because that's the most important number. 
And now we want to highlight with, uh, we're using yellow here in the video, but you can just make a thick arrow. We want to highlight the area that makes the inequality true. That is, we want to highlight the solution to the inequality, all those numbers that make it true. Well, the easiest number that we can find to check if we're not entirely sure where on the number line we need to go is zero. Zero happens to be down here. Now, zero is, in fact, less than seven. So since zero is less than seven, that means our arrow that shows where the solution is, this arrow shows the solution, our arrow is going to go over zero because zero is less than seven. Or we can pick any other number. Six is less than seven. Two is less than seven. Negative 3,425,617 and 5 tenths is less than seven. So this arrow here on the number line that starts at seven, moves to the left, and is labeled x, is graphing the inequality. That represents x is less than seven. Now I want to stop and talk about that dot for just a second. There are two different ways that we could draw a circle. One, we can draw a circle with um, the center not filled in, and we can draw a circle with the center that is filled in. So now let's look at that idea of 7 here. Now we have two different types of inequalities that we can have. We can have x is less than 7, or we can have x is less than or, great, less than or equal to 7 uh, when it comes to having the numbers on this side of 7 be the solution. We're looking at numbers on this side. We want them to be the solution, so they can either be less than 7, or they can be less than or equal to 7. Now we have, if we consider that we can use either of these two circles, on one hand, we put the circle there. Let's make that color green. We could put the circle there, in which case, we could see 7 through the center of the circle, and we're not sure whether or not 7 itself is a part of the solution. Whereas if we use the dark circle, it seems to indicate that everything in that circle is part of that dark line, and therefore is part of the solution. And actually, that is how it goes. The light circles that are not filled in, these represent less than and greater than, because it shows that this number is not in the solution. Whereas dark circles, less than or equal to, and greater than or equal to, because it shows that the number here is in the solution, because it's filled in. And it makes sense, because this circle, the filled circle, has more to it than the open circle does. This is called an open circle. This is called a closed circle. So if we have an open circle, then we can see the number that we're circling over through the circle. It is not covered in the arrow. It is not covered by anything in the circle, so therefore it is not in the solution, and it is in less than or greater than. However, if we use the closed circle, the filled in one, that means that uh, the number is part of the arrow, it is part of the circle that's filled in, and therefore it is part of the solution, less than or equal to, or greater than or equal to. Now there are a few steps that we can think of, just to go through all that one more time, just some discrete steps. Um, to draw an inequality on a number line, if we have the x wrapped up in something, we need to isolate it. And we need to solve the inequality so that all we have is x is compared to some number. Less than, greater than, less than, equal to, greater than, or equal to. However it ends up working, it needs to be x and one number. Then we're going to draw a number line. And the only number that is important um, in terms of understanding where we are on the number line is just the one that x is compared to. So if x is being compared to 5, the only number that we plot is 5. Add the open or closed circle above the number um, you plotted. So on the number line, in this case, it would be a closed circle. And draw a thick arrow in the direction of the solution. I'm going to check with 0. 0 is not greater than or equal to 5. Put a line through that to show that it's not true. So therefore, the solution is the entire half of the number line that does not contain 0. So that is the idea of drawing an inequality. Let's go through two examples, and I'll give you a few examples that you can work on on your own. x is greater than or equal to negative 3. 
our important number is negative 3. We are going to draw a closed circle because it is greater than or equal to. And now 0 is on this side of the number line um, because negative 3 is to the left of 0 because it's less than 0. And 0 is greater than or equal to negative 3. That's true. So we shade it to the right over 0. Uh, for x is less than 0, 0 is the number we want to plot, so we can't really use 0 to check what's going on. We know it's going to be an open circle because it is less than. And now we just need to find a number to check. I'm going to check the number 1. Now 1 is not less than 0. That is not true. So therefore this is not the part of the line that we want to fill in. That is not the solution. It's all negative numbers that are less than 0. So we fill in away from the number that we checked. So, um, I'm going to show you a slide here with six different problems you can work on. Go ahead and pause the video. See what you can do with graphing these inequalities, and unpause and come back when you're ready to see the solutions. So with each of these inequalities, we're going to draw a number line. So I'm going to go ahead and draw the number line on each of our inequalities here. So we're interested in three different things. First, what is the number that x is being compared to? Second, is it a closed circle or an open circle? Because is it strictly less than or is it less than or equal to? Is it strictly greater than or is it greater than or equal to? And finally, which half of the number line are we going to shade in? So first, x is less than 1. We're comparing x to 1. It is an open circle because x is strictly less than. And if we use our check as 0, 0 is less than 1. So the side of the number line with 0 is the area that we want to shade uh, for the second one, x is greater than or equal to 5. 5 is the number that we're interested. Again, I'm going to check 0. 0 is not greater than or equal to 5. So the side of the number line that 0 is on is not the solution. Close circle because it has the or equal to and fill in that line. Uh, going over to x is less than or equal to negative 7. Negative 7 is that number that we're really interested in. Uh, again, using 0, 0 is not less than or equal to negative 7. 0 is over here because negative 7 is on the um, left-hand side of 0 on the number line because it is a negative number. So 0 is not part of the solution. So therefore, closed circle and a thick arrow in the direction away from 0 to the left. For x is greater than 100, and to have 100 as our critical number, uh, we want an open circle because it is strictly greater than, 0 is not greater than 100, and 0 is down here. So this is not the solution, so we're going to graph on the right-hand side with our thick arrow. Uh, for x is greater than 0, we can't really check 0 here. We're going to have an open circle because it's strictly greater than. Um, we can't check 0, so I'm going to check 1. 1 is greater than 0, so therefore the side that 1 is on is the solution, and we're going to graph over so the whole right-hand side of the number line there. And finally, for uh, x is less than or equal to 4 tenths, plot 4 tenths. Uh, closed circle because it is less than or equal to. I'm going to check 0. 0 is less than 0 0.4. It, uh, it's less than or equal to. In fact, it's less than. So therefore, the side that 0 is on is part of the solution, and we're going to shade in that side. So once again, to graph uh, an inequality like this on a number line, first you need the number line, you're going to plot the, and we need the x isolated so that it's just something like x is greater than or equal to 5. Um, put that one number that x is being compared to on the number line, add the open or closed circle depending on whether or not it's a strict or not strict inequality, and uh, draw a thick arrow in the direction of the numbers that make the inequality true.